Hey everyone, it is Monday, February 27th. The time is around 7.20 p.m. and the temperature right now is around minus three degrees Celsius. And I'm here at the intersection of Bay and Bloor. And just to the north of here is the Yorkville neighborhood. And as you can see, it is snowing at the moment. It's been snowing for a few hours now and it's supposed to continue, I think until about 11 p.m. or so. And I just finished up recording a live stream. I started in Midtown at Young and Eglinton. And after that was done, I popped into this Tim Hortons and I had a snack and a coffee and it was much needed. And the Ken Continuum, who has a Toronto-based YouTube channel, popped in to say hi. He was out making a video. It's on the stream that that's where I went into at the end and thought he would come say hi. And for this one, I think I'm just going to keep going south down Bay Street here. And I think maybe I'll go down to Union Station. So I'll be battling the wind and the snow. Feels like I'm walking into it at the moment. Here comes the second fire engine. So this is walking south down the west side of Young Street. And the camera fortunately seems to be holding up so far. I will give it a little preemptive wipe every now and then. It's windy enough that using an umbrella is really going to do no good. And Ken, who records with a similar camera to this, was also not using an umbrella. These are definitely tough cycling conditions. So Bay Street starts just to the north of where I started this one, up at Davenport and Bay, and it heads south all the way down through the financial district and then the south core. And it finishes up at Queens Key. And just beyond that is Lake Ontario. And I think we'll find once I get 
So at the end of the financial district, there'll be a lot less snow on the sidewalks. It's generally a few degrees warmer in that area. And this would be St. Joseph Street. Wind is kicking up right now, blowing left to right. There's been a lot of second cups closing. It's good to see a new one has sprung up in this location. If I'm not mistaken, that's an old hotel that's been converted into a condo with an addition to the top. Another Timmy's. And we've made it to Wellesley Street. It's a Government of Ontario complex right there. Undergoing a extensive renovation. Now on the right here we have what is also part of that complex. You can hear the wind whipping off of the covering they've put up over those buildings. Whatever tip that guy is getting for delivering food tonight, it is not enough.
This guy has the same e-bike that I have, the Move Pulse. He's being rather careful. I got a rear flat tire yesterday out on my ride. And it's everyone's favorite street to pronounce. Grovener. Some people say Grovener. But whichever you decide, definitely do not say Grossvener. Grossvener, Grossvener. Don't pronounce that S. Seems to be holding up relatively well. You sweet, a dessert cafe. I think that's called D Spot. Right next to Nando's. I have not had that in a while. There's the Metro Toronto Police Headquarters. And coming up is College Street, and just on the left is College Park. Things you should not have to deal with as a pedestrian. And there's an outdoor ice skating trail just over there, the Barbara Ann Scott Ice Trail. And I didn't see anyone out using it. I guess that's not really surprising. Garden signatures, a new Chinese spot seems to have popped up.
full time. So. You'd think it would be nicer walking under here, but really it isn't. Oh, interesting security to get into that building. And I wonder why that is the Ministry of the Attorney General. There tends to be more retail and places to eat on the east side of Bay Street around here. And here's Gerard Street West. Saw one of those sidewalk plows over in Yorkville towards the end of my live stream. Whoa, two cars pushing their luck. Both of them probably <laughs> shouldn't have been going. These little plows are all over the place tonight. And this is Elm Street. That's a rerouted 505 Carlton Street car making its way north up Bay Street. And this is the old Toronto coach terminal. It's on the corner here. It's a really nice old Art Deco building. Well, on the outside, on the inside, it was always kind of dingy, at least in my experience. And someone just popped out.
There's where Uncle Tetsu's used to be. Now it's just across the street over in the atrium on Bay. Right next to Unholy Donuts. And the new Uncle Tetsu location is just over there. And Eaton Center and Dundas Square. It's just off in that direction. Well, I guess more specifically, <laughs> the Eaton Center is right there. But uh, Dundas Square is over at Young Street. There's another little plow. I thought I read that the snow would be heavier now than what it was around 6 p.m. That doesn't really seem to be the case. There's the backside of City Hall. where our current standing mayor is actually the deputy mayor. So that'll be an upcoming election and there's a few interesting candidates worth looking at. I'm still leaning towards Gil Penalosa, but I think Chloe Brown has made a pretty strong case for herself. I would just like to see the city being run by a true urbanist. Some of his ideas are a bit pie in the sky, but the vast majority of them will improve the lives for those that live in the city, which I think is paramount. And is it 8 p.m.? Is that where those bells were ringing? No, it's And what is the skating surface like? 
at Nathan Phillips Square during a snowfall. some folks giving it a go. And here's Queen Street West. This is Queen Street West. Uh, Where are you going? Uh, Queen Street West. And this is West on Queen Street West. Okay, that that way. <laughs> All right, cheers. He said Queen Street West is this way. Well, Queen Street West runs east west, but I think maybe what he meant was West on Queen Street is this way. So I just kind of said this is Queen Street West and this is West and pointed in that direction, hopefully. He's on track to get to where he needs to be. And welcome to the financial district where I speculated sidewalks would be in better shape and they are but not by much a little less snow and ice and a little more slush I think all these tall skyscrapers that create quite the canyon effect end up heating things up quite a bit And this is Richmond Street West. Yeah. 
And here is Adelaide Street. Ooh, that wind is blowing this, what I would almost call frozen rain, directly into our faces. St. Regis. So next up is King Street, and just on the right here is what is at least, for now, still the tallest building in the country. And it's the building where I used to work, way up over the 50th floor. Right there. <laughs> I wonder how rosy my cheeks are looking right now after getting battered <laughs> by this wind. It's all good, I signed up for it. And this is Bay and King. And once upon a time, there had been a phenomenal view of the CN Tower. Just peeking between those TE Center buildings. But a recent development. Housing the new headquarters of the Ontario Teachers Pension Plan and a TD Bank office has covered that up. There's the walrus. And this is Wellington Street. So I'm one block away from Front Street. Right, 
car is being awfully impatient. Like, why wouldn't you <laughs> just wait for the light to change? Well, I guess I should say that driver is being impatient. I don't think the car had much say in the matter. Kudos to that guy. That is not something you'd see me volunteering to do. There it is, Union Station. And we wouldn't have been able to see the CN Tower from that vantage point anyways. It is covered in fog. So I hope you enjoyed this one, starting up at Van Bleur, walking southbound Bay Street from Yorkville all the way to the Financial District. And more specifically to Fronton Bay. Let me know your thoughts and comments down below. I don't know how many more of these snowfall walks we have left this season. But when it starts snowing for me, it's like the bat signal going up. I have to jump out and go do it just because I actually have a lot of fun recording these. If you wish to support the channel, there's links to my Patreon and YouTube channel membership down in the description. And there's an Instagram account at Johnny Strides. And I think that's about it, eh? Anywho, <laughs> thank you for watching, and I will catch you on the next one. Yoink! As I fail to flip the camera back around. The buttons do nothing.